some may say we are the uh, Twin Towers of comedy. <laughs> Just Duncan and Robinson. Yeah, dude. The dynamic duo. Mary Kate and Smashley. I can Tina Turner of, uh, <laughs> podcast. Especially the fattest podcast in San Antonio. Dude, man. The Outcast of Podcast. The Outcast of Podcast, dude. Yeah, man, this this is what it is. <laughs> good, <laughs> good, good. Good recovery, my man. Good recovery. Good recovery. Uh, I'm going to smoke some CBD. All right, I just got off work. Do what you got to do, man. Right. That's fucking cool. Do what you got to do. But uh-huh. Zach, man, what, what you been up to, man? You've been gone forever. Forever? He's, every day seems like forever, if you think about it. That's true, even yeah. if you don't. If you don't think about it, it's still... It's, it's still forever. It's a long time. It's longer if you don't think about it than when you think about it. You dig? I do. I dig it like a shovel, buddy. Yeah, because when you think about it, it's like not that far. But when you don't think about it, it's even further. I said because the exact you're not. Same thing Dude, I twice. think therefore I am. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, I'm fucking CBD right now. It's fucking you making CBD? sense. No, I couldn't. Especially not on camera. Yeah. Hey, I, all right. Oh yeah. My no. fault. Let me put it out. My fault. No, no, no. You're good. Do your, do your. It's CBD. It. It's government approved. It's mandated at this point. All right. So I, I have questions for you. Okay. So for those that don't know, Zachy D calls the football games. Yes. On the Big Twelve Network. Download it. Check him out. He's fucking hilarious. Him and uh, former guest Gabe. Yeah. They run it. Can you? All right. Have you ever gotten close to like fuck? Yeah, dude. Uh, no, I did say hell of a player one time, and people got very upset. Really? Hell of a? Yeah. You, you don't have like a, oh, my fault, go ahead, a cough button? We are not on a delay, no. No delay. No delay. Damn, dude, that's stressful, right, dude. It is, it is, but like, it's, I don't really do much of the cursing anyway, unlike Scott over here. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but I have, you know, I kind of, I quit cursing as a bit. Yeah. Earlier on, like before I started this. Mm-hmm. Because it's hilarious to me to just not curse. Yeah. It was so funny to me. And then to get offended when people curse, it's it's the funniest shit. That you, <laughs> I was doing that for a long time. So he did good. it to me yesterday. Yeah. We were hanging out briefly. Yeah. And I go, oh. That's, I think that's what he gave me. <laughs> it's so good. But no, nah, it's not that hard. It's not just because, like, I don't know, man. I've been pretending to be a commentator my whole life. Yeah. Like, more than comedy. Damn, do you practice? Like, obviously, you have to practice, right? Like, on, like, just regular games that, like on TV. You, yeah. You call it at home. Do you have to rehearse? I do that by default. Yeah. If you watch a game around me, I'm not. But you watched the game with me before. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, honestly, Excuse Most me. Valuable Player Haters was a good, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. intro for real. Because it's just, you got to talk the whole time. Yeah. After every play, you have to say something meaningful. Um, and it's just, I've just been doing that my whole life. I do that every time I watch a game anyway. How how are y'all doing? Like, is there like a uh, camera? You got uh, like multiple screens, or are you watching the game live and both. calling it both? Both. I haven't seen you, dude. Talking to the mic. I haven't seen you. Like, uh, I've heard you. Yeah, they 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 don't really do the in the booth shots as much. We do it if we have like a delay or something. Yeah, but for the most like part, like that rain delay or some shit. Yeah, just because we have limited cameras. Would that make but, you more nervous if you were on camera? A little bit, but not real. I mean. Not honestly, bro. Like enough of this shit and enough comedy. Yeah. Like, Stand up gets you ready for anything. Yeah. Anything in the world, bro. Damn, but what if like you're really enjoying the game and you're like, oh shit, I haven't said nothing in like five minutes. You can't. You have to every play. Every play. It's like a rhythm you fall into. The play by play guy goes. And no then, dead air. You can't have dead air. No. Always keep the ball up in the air type of thing. During yeah. the week, are you learning names? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, now now like this point in the season, I know everybody pretty much. Uh, talking to coaches. My first year, I really didn't, bro. Like, I was, I didn't really take it as seriously as I should have, to be yeah. honest. Um, Why? Because you didn't think that was, like, a, a real thing yet? I guess so. Well, I was just, I was just doing my job. Yeah. And I got to do better than that if I want to be better. You were than just that. putting in the 40. Yeah. But you need to, you need to work at home. Yeah, essentially. And I started going to practices and talking to coaches. Oh, shit. And shit. Oh, yeah, bro. It's great. Have you, um, are, is, is all you can do football or like are they gonna maybe maybe we can throw in some basketball every now and then or something they asked me if i could uh um, you could i could do basketball i could do maybe believe it or not soccer soccer yeah dang i oh, love yeah. soccer man it's really so good. yeah okay see oh. I, don't, I don't know anything about soccer i know like zero about soccer and it's just all a bunch of running and passing running and passing you got to make it like that simpsons clip where they're like Ariaga, pass it to Ariaga, Ariaga to Ariaga, Ariaga holds, Ariaga holds. You know, like, 
Go. That's soccer. You get it. That's why I could do it. It's yeah. easy. I, I just watch, uh, what is it? With Jason Sudeikis? Oh, uh, Bill Fossil. <laughs> 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 That movie where he's a he's a coach. I was talking about the show. He's a movie. Bill Fossil. What is that? The the Apple one, the Apple series. That's what I'm talking about. That's about soccer. I don't know Bill Fossil. <laughs> it's Bill Fossil, dude. Oh, that's his character's name. Yeah. No, Bill Fossil. It's a movie. <laughs> All right, you win. All right, sorry. Are you allowed to be funny on that? Like with the commentation? commentation? Yeah, you have no choice. Yeah. Or I don't. If you're a comic, you're going to be funny. Yeah. And, like, I'll admit, I like shoehorn bits in there sometimes. <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> Especially if it's a blowout. Yeah. Fudge, dude. You got all kinds of... You got all time... Like, it's really difficult because they're high school kids. Yeah. So you can't kill them. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can't be like, dude, this dude is trash right no, now. Yeah, for sure. Is there a D4 or a D5 he can go to? That's oh. shit talking. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even still, like, not really. There's not like. Is there a D seven he can apply to? Nice. Is there a different high school that <laughs> that doesn't know about age groups that he could go to? Yeah, dude. Nah, it's tough, bro. But yeah, like, I'm, I'll shoehorn bits in there all the time. Yeah, is it's it is it a rush like being on stage? No, <laughs> no. I don't think I ever got to rush people talk. Well, I guess I do. I don't know. Really? It is kind of. You never got to rush no, on stage? No, I guess I did. 2112? I was, th- what is that? It was Rush. Is that Rush the band? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Bob O'Reilly. That's, that's the who. That's the who. But it's fine. <laughs> Bob O'Reilly, dude. <laughs> Bob O'Reilly. What? <laughs> He's saying it wrong, Bob too. O'Reilly. Not Bob, Bob. No, Pat, Pat's a hundred. Bob Riley. <laughs> Bob O'Reilly. Robert Riley. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's Baba. He's like a Persian Irish guy. Dude, Bob what O'Reilly. Is that fucking guy's name, Jason. Sudeikis. Baba. It's really irritating me. Out here in the fields, you piece of shit. Have you made any clips of your uh, commentation? Bro, I need to. Is it man. commentation? Am I saying it wrong? Commentation. Commentary. Commentation. Yeah. Commentary. Yeah, it's not commentation. commentation. Yeah, I've been having. I have some Romo moments though. Yeah, a lot of them where I call it before it happens. Oh, nice. That's a great feeling. Yeah, that's elite, bro. That's wild. Yeah, it's great. It's great. Like I'll be like, yeah, they're gonna start covering the ball. They're gonna start trying to rip it out soon. That's like a sixth sense, dude. Yeah, you watch enough football. Do you ever? Are you able to like talk shit with Gabe? Be like, I got five that says, I bet you a nickel. That's what I always say. I oh. bet you. But I, I now they think we mean a nickel. You and I, real yeah. pieces of shit. Five hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, that's the application, but that's not what I mean. Oh, I don't have five hundred dollars on me right now. Do you guys have five hundred dollars? Well, you, we just sold out. Yeah, we just sold we out. gave it to you for the pod episode. I do have five hundred dollars. Thank you for that. Yeah, I got, my... I got I got I got a nickel. <laughs> I do have a nickel. A proper nickel. This is crazy. Proper nickel. Is that alcohol? It is. It's eleven percent. Jesus, that's a lot. Of that don't have you fucking fat chicks in no time. World's tastiest party punch. It's good. Yeah. Is it, does it taste like wine? It's a punch. Kind of. yeah, it's a punch. Why do they call it punch? Uh, fruit punch. I don't know. Does you punch fruits? Yeah. Ah, gay joke. Insert. <laughs> Got him again. Yeah. And that's why you're at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah, brother. <laughs> no. How, uh, Pat, are you doing fantasy? No, I didn't do fantasy this year. It fucked me up when I when I played because like. I'm a Seahawks fan, and so oh, you you have a problem cheating? I have a problem betting against or like not putting in my players because like I feel like I'm, I'm like I should have more faith in Lockett or DK. That is terrible. I mean, or yo, when me and him were on one, DK saved me yeah. like mad games. Or I would be like, yeah, I know the defense is good, so I'm gonna pick a, a different defense, and I'll be like, oh man, like what if they find out? You know, I get, I take it personal. Like, I was like, Pete Carroll's gonna text yeah. me. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you. Like, what if by chance, by chance, I run into a Seahawk, Pete Carroll himself, and then we we start talking. I was like, yeah, I'm a, I play fantasy. I I could be a coach too. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dog, do you realize Let how see, often he hears that? Let me see your lineup. I don't know. Let me see your lineup and like, no, no Seahawks. Not even the quarterback. Like, you're not even wearing our fucking jersey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, their jerseys are. Can we talk about the Seahawks jerseys real quick? The throwbacks? No, the throwbacks rock. Yeah, they were. They rock, dude. The, I wish the, the blue I wish, ones. Yeah, yeah, I wish that yeah, was those the, were hard. I boss. wish that was their home jerseys. They oh, look bring really it back. Bring good. it back. Yeah, 
Yeah, these ones. What they are they got, now? You don't like the 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 multicolor? I don't no. like the gray. I don't like the gray out. They're highlighter. They kind of dope. They're designed by a seventh grader. It looks like. Yeah, the highlighter is kind of embarrassing too. With a broad marker. Yeah. You know, like not even like a crayon. Yeah. Who does have raw jerseys? The Jets helmet is phenomenal. It got better. They got better because they went back. Best helmets, I think, are the Bears. Maybe that deep, like navy, mm. or the Chiefs. I love the Chiefs because it has a white face mask. That's a very clean. Only team with a white face mask. That's something that nobody knows. That's wild. Yeah, that's true. I do know. A, a, ask me, an NFL thing. player. I'll tell you where they went he to school. He does. He has some wild shit going on in his fucking noggin. Yeah. yeah. Where like you just say a player, and he's like, oh, he went to Oklahoma State. Uh, and some he could probably hit the high school. Yeah, damn, Tiny. dude. How? Tiny. Like, is there a book? Do you Google? Do you sit? Are you just you listen to the commentations? Because <laughs> <laughs> the they'll, they'll, run, they'll run down like he went to this high school or picked out of you know whatever. Well, they do that in college for sure. Yeah, but at the pros, I mean, I guess they say it. It's all I just what look is it, it up. And I Terrell remember. Suggs, ball so hard, University. Yeah, it's like Arizona State though. See. I always get this like this little like uh, pride thing when they say like oh from UTSA I was like oh I went there for a semester. <laughs> I did <laughs> six. Modern, dude. I did six. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. an alum. Yeah, I went there before they had a football team, but it still Welcome. counts. Yeah, oh, it still man. counts. I, I one time and I'm gonna be honest here. I'm gonna use honesty. I lied to my parents about going, may potentially getting accepted to UTSA. You got you lied about getting accepted. Maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Did you do the letter? I went, Did you accepted it? The I movie? Went, I, I kind of. I like went on a. I went on a, a visit. Oh yeah. But really, uh, I just went. My homeboy Marlon was in a frat. Shout out Marlon. He was oh, a Kappa. I see, I see, I see. And I just yeah. went out there to hang out for a while. And I was. <laughs> Dude, I didn't do that at all. I should have done that. I should have visited schools. I didn't do, visit. Any. My thing is, I, I just wanted to apply and get accepted. I knew I had no plans of going to a school and staying in school. I knew I had to do at least a year. Already did a semester. But I just wanted to get accepted. I got accepted to like a lot of like Texas schools and universities. Did you really? Shit. Yeah. What? Dude. Yeah. University like University of Texas? Uh, no. Not San Antonio. No, no. no. I got yeah. I got to UTSA, but like uh, like uh, UT's like top ten percent. You got to be. Yeah. Some shit. Yeah. No, I didn't get to. Texas. That are daddy fat stacks, right? Yeah. But either way, like I wasn't gonna go to school. I just wanted to get accepted. Like that's all I was going. What for. was the what best was school last? you got accepted to? I don't know, man. I don't know any word probably. Yo, know. how much is that? That's, I think that's that expensive as fuck, right? Yeah, it's a great. UIW. Yeah, Private was it? School. I think Ricky Williams was a running back coach there. For real? Yeah, within the last ten years. Gabe used to do commentationary. Commentationaries on there I, for UIW. Yeah. Yeah. The, what does that even mean? Incarnate word. Incarnate. It's like the like it's incarnate and shit. Like it's the word. <laughs> Got it. It's the word incarnate. You know. <laughs> incarnate and shit. <laughs> yeah, you know. Dude, I don't know. When you're dude. fucking driving, uh, you say, oh, incarnate. Jesus know, would man. be pissed. Dude. Oh yeah, for sure. I would oh, get... it's religious. Yes. It's about the Bible. It's a Bible college. It's the incarnate word. Break it down. It's oh, the word. I don't of... know what incarnate means. It's the word of the incarnate. It's in the meat of your heart. And if you break it down, the original Latin. That's carne, but yeah. the in, incarnate word. Man, I'm, <laughs> I'm Austin 316. It's the only one I know. <laughs> what is it? Uh, fuck. This is good. <laughs> yeah. He walks up. Somebody breaks the And glass. he starts like, <laughs> he goes, uh, get this piece of trash out of my ring and get him out of the WWF. That's what it says in the Bible? No, that's, uh, yeah, in the book of Austin 316. Hell yeah. <laughs> and then he's, and he says some real disrespectful shit. He's like, tell him to get a, a bottle of Thunderbird and see if he can kick back some of his courage. Oh my God, mm. dude! Who was right? They they really let they let him go. Write their own shit. They let him go, and then because he talked about it, Stone Cold did. All right, uh, nineteen ninety six, King of the Ring, autism. Stone Cold yeah. won the the whole thing, and he gets up to make an interview. So it's a tournament where you do it all on one night, the, all the all the matches, mm -hmm. and he won. In the first match, he busted his lips, so he went to the hospital, and they had to he? sew him up. <laughs> and then when he came out, he did another match, and that's how he got it. But uh, that was how Austin 316 started, because he just started talking a gang of shit right on mic. Yeah. He went to the hospital because he busted his lip? What I think the they said fuck? it was like a good amount of stitches. For the lip? So if you look, when he's, 
It's like real fat when he's talking. Yeah. So and then they had to win mm, two fights. But they were real. You fought two times in one night? They fixed it so he only had... I'm sorry. Fix what? He was pretty it's like, still oh, real to me, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> he only had to fight twice. Busted lips are real, man. I forgot how it started, but Stokely, yeah, no, that, that was the, the book of 316. And it was uh, Austin 316 says, I just whipped your ass. That's how he finished it. Okay. How do we get on Bible verses? Incarnate oh, word. word. The who's, word of the incarnate. Who's smoking CBD? It's in the air, man. Yeah, I think oh, yeah. we all are kind of. We all got the fucking, the CBD second. Yeah, the what's it called? What's it called? CBD contact high. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude, it contacted me. The commentary high, uh, if you think about it. Uh, the... Doc, all right. If you could, what would be the best game you could call? All right, so I'm, I'm gonna throw a bunch of bunch out. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's start with like a Mike Tyson fight, a John Jones fight. WrestleMania, the main event, uh, Super Bowl, Game 7, World Series, Game 7, NBA Finals. Super Bowl. Well, for me personally. What second? Or, for me personally or just yeah. like in general? I think the Super Bowl is like, in America at least, that's the biggest for sure. Or the World Cup Final. Well, that's the world. That's a lot of pressure, dude. The you think world. so? But you don't think the Super Bowl is the world? It's, the a hundred, Bowl it's like world, $120 million. I bet you, I, I bet you the World Cup is... At least two hundred. You think so? Fuck you yeah! Think the World Cup outshines the Super Bowl. Yeah, globally. Globally, not here, but everywhere. Yeah. Oh, interesting. yeah. Hmm. They don't because they don't know shit about football. If they knew about football, real football, not football, they'd fucking they'd love Dude, it. Yeah. All right, this is a hot take. And it, football is like eighty five percent boring to me. It's not a hot take, honestly. That's it's so slow. That's what British people say. Or that's what like your European everybody else says. Too. Like, yeah, I they did a study, and it was like whistle to whistle. A, uh, a NFL game is only like twelve minutes. You have actual action. It's seven, actual seven game seconds play, at yeah. a time. Yeah, that's what it comes. That's what it averages out to, like twelve minutes. But they stretch yeah. it out how long? Fucking four hours. Three hours. Yeah. 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 Like that's fuck. That's so much dead time. But here's the thing about the, you know they all say that every European everybody says that. But every will they fight us? No. <laughs> they like there are also people that don't punch people in the face. You know, so they don't know. Yeah, yeah they do. They don't no, they tackle don't. each other. They don't. They don't like. Yeah, you can't tackle them. They play rugby stuff. But rugby, oh, we're talking about football, football and football. Oh, I wasn't comparing the two. I'm just saying NFL in general is like 85. percent Like I'll watch. I'll go watch the birds with you if you're like. Hey, I'm at this bar. Yeah. Like, I'll do it. I'll hang out. But, like, my mind is nowhere near the game. It doesn't keep you engaged because there's so many. Maybe, like, yeah. pause. Penalties. Like Two-minute drill. And, yeah. Pause. Quick drill. Pause. Quick drills. <laughs> pause. <laughs> nice. My man needs a two-minute man. Now, what I'm saying is. That would be a preference if I, you know. Yeah. You know, these people in other countries. What do they know? <laughs> You know, they don't fucking, they, if you don't hit somebody in the, if you don't, when you get into a fight with somebody, if you don't punch them. Yeah. And if I don't care about what you think. Yeah. It's just an argument. They just spit. Yeah. They do a lot of, they slap at them and they kick at them. So what I, the fuck? We know what's going on. You get on board with the, with our side here, dude. No, but I love basketball. That's but American basketball as fuck. Is super quick, dude. I think that's ADD. Yeah. Oh, it keeps your attention more. Yeah, because it, I mean, they're, it's constant movement. Yeah, yeah, that's an impossible sport to call. Honestly, basketball is really tough it's to call. So quick, dude. Do yeah. you have max? No, I'll give you my max. Uh, there's a pause. Yeah, damn, dude. <laughs> there's a four part documentary on Inside the NBA, mm. and it's fucking phenomenal. It, it's four episodes. So the first episode is on Ernie. The second one is on uh, Kenny. Kenny the Jet. Third is Chuck, and four is Shaq. And they talk about how they all got together, how they all formed up, and they're talking about like how their chemistry was like immediately because they all knew how to talk shit. Mm. Ernie, but I'll give you, I'll give it to you. You gotta watch it, bro. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, I'll check it out, man. I'll check yeah, it out. let me know how it is. Yeah, <laughs> only Pat. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa! Yeah, shit. caught you slipping. Yeah, and that's how, that's how I mean it. It's Jeez. that punch. That punch. Let me get some more CBD for this. <laughs> yeah. Blame it on the box, dude. Yeah, Next man. Next time I'll be listening to Akon smack that in no time. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to pipe up, dude. 
Me and Zach were hanging out. Zach was giving me a gang of shit because I said Eminem is one of my favorite. He's a, he's a, one of the creme de la creme of rappers. Really? Yeah. Wow. He goes, but he says that Eminem is uh, your fingers have to be stiff when you rap. So he's doing this the whole time. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's true. That's all white rappers in general. Uh, and that's coming from a former white rapper. Yeah, you hate you hate what you missed out on. No, it's not missing out, is it? Because it's fucking. What's less cool than effort? Nothing. It's the least <laughs> cool thing. Yeah, you gotta make it seem effortless. And they're to, all for it to be cool. If you can't hold a drink and rap to me at the same time, I don't want it. Like, you had to put the mic down. Yeah. To do. Yeah. I mean, a I lyrical, miracle, spiritual, spiritual, <laughs> the awfully hot coffee pot. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, it's coming out of me. Yo, is, there, ever, is there a good white rapper? Eminem. No. <laughs> Paul. Yeah. I fuck with Paul hard. Pause. Paul. Wall. Honestly, Lil Dicky's cool, man. I guess. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't listen to any of them. Yeah. I listen to Paul Wall. He gets yeah. played. Yeah. Paul Wall ruined my life, technically. How so? The amount of times that was just called Paul Wall, <laughs> <laughs> dude. I Yo, bro- fuck. What's her name? Devin Benish. He was the first fucking Bobby Hill joke reference. Oh well, yeah. What did she say? She sounds like Bobby Hill. When Bobby Hill talks. She does oh, sound like yeah. Bobby Hill. <laughs> I mean, it's a funny joke. I'll give it to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. But I, mine was I. I look like Bobby Hill tried to join the Migos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Which was before they needed a member. Is not okay now because because it could happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that they really need a replacement. Yeah, it's kind of sad to say shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video? Yeah. What video? He's yeah. just shooting. Oh. Blood everywhere. Into the mic, dude. Blood yes. everywhere. There you go. Well, I mean, you sure tried. It. I mean, yeah, this is our don't. first fucking pod. My man, dude, this is like my third fuck up. Yeah, it's it's the CBD. Don't blame him for getting blood all over the place. You try getting in. Have you tried in the head? Pause. Get blood up. Pause. <laughs> 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 Talking to the mic. <laughs> my pause game is accurate right now, dog. Yeah, it's extremely homophobic. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I was calling oh. it. I was doing it as an allegation towards you. Yeah. That's good. Uh, he's not homophobic. He's transphobic. You know, oh, thank God. Because he hates men and women. <laughs> oh. Pause. Anybody could get it. Getting Pause. two uh, hatreds out at the same stone. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Everybody gets we, it. We were out to, <laughs> Pause. Uh, we were at LOL. I was like, I think Pat called me fucking homophobic in front of a, a group of people. I was like, no, that means you're scared of him. I beat him up. <laughs> That's good. He always set that record straight. Yeah. Because in case they try to catch you slipping, dude. What are you, what are you scared of? Love. Thank uh, you. He, really, he's a, he has a fear of love. Are we better get down with the get down? It's a question. Yo, change the camera. Let me lay on the couch while y'all talk to me. It's a question, dude. <laughs> I love love. I just fuck it up. What's That's your it. top three things, f- favorite things about love? <laughs> Titties, sex, <laughs> vagina. <laughs> Isn't oh, sex and vaginas. Like Buttholes. <laughs> mouths. Uh-oh. And now we're coming Uh-oh. around to the other end Uh-oh, here. Yeah. Pause. Buttholes, mouths, armpits, things we all have. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, dude. So you're saying you can love anybody. Anyone. As long as they have a mouth and a butt. Dog, so I took my diabetes. Two test. out of three. <laughs> as long as you have oh. two out of three. That's Hall of Fame numbers in my neighborhood. <laughs> Dog, I had to take I I, I told you I, I had to take the diabetes test. Bro, yeah, don't got it. W's everywhere. Yeah, but you're close. She, bro, she was not. You'll get there. She got mad at me. Oh, my phone's out. Oh, okay. She got mad at me on the phone. Yeah. Because she was like, all right, Mr. Holmes, uh, I just called to tell you, you don't have diabetes. And I literally was like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I said, Mr. Ramos, please calm down. Yeah, you nothing to be proud of. You're still dying. No, she know? goes. <laughs> You're still bad. Yeah. She goes. You'll we get give it. we give medicine at six point five. Yeah, and you came in at a six point four. Mm. And she goes, we can give you medicine now, or you can come back and see us in ninety days. Like she threw the gauntlet out. Like your boy can't get fit. Yeah, I look at it. The but other you way. did accept the challenge, though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a bitch. So You're, you have to be challenged to to do the work. Pause. Why is it? Why is that a pause? 
right. doing work. Challenge and doing work. I don't know on who, on what. I think you, <laughs> you're inserting your pause where pause don't need to be. If you would have said insert it, that would have been a pause. <laughs> damn, damn. <laughs> Patty's on his philosophicals. <laughs> Why'd you say that like it was it was like prophetic? Yeah, dude. dude remember you're fucking Bill and Ted? You're so great. Yeah. <laughs> Read between the lines. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know November? This is so fucked up. November is Diabetes Awareness yeah. Month. I do know no that. No way. Yeah. yeah. The day after like the biggest candy holiday on the planet Damn. is Diabetes Awareness Month. But at the end of the month, maybe it's a reminder. No, I think it's a reminder throughout the month because you're eating candy all month. Oh, tell me that's not a fucking conspiracy theory. It's pr- it's pretty fucked up, dude. <laughs> I feel I feel away about it. Like I'm tra- kind of triggered. Damn, bro. I like so. Here's the thing: is you be- you've been challenged. Are you gonna get the diabetes or what? She's nah, not man. I she, think you can do it. She was on me like I could, bro. If you look in the fridge right now, in the freezer for real, for real, it's impossible. Meat. Yeah. Pause. That's not <laughs> trying it's to meat. get. It's meat. Pause. Uh, mad tip, vegetables. Tip though, get diabetes and Thank then you. lose it because you'll feel like a fucking winner, dude. Yes. Yeah. I, Thank I've, you. I've gone back and forth. I was type two and now I'm back to zero. Hey, do me a favor. Timestamp this. Congrats. Because yeah. we need to talk about timestamp this, whatever this is. All right. 30, 50. All right. Oscar needs to hear this because Oscar goes, once you get it, you got it. You're done. No. The, no. And then, all right. That's type so one. Yeah. Homegirl, but you, I thought type one you have to be born with. Type one, Mm-mm. it can be later onset. Oh, I know a guy that yeah became di- uh, diabetic type one, like in his teens. It's very rare. Wow. Yeah, I thought it was just type two you could catch. Yeah, yeah Ralph it. Barbosa. He got He's, it. He was born type one though, right? Oh, was he? I thought so. No. Damn. Well, Homegirl wanted to get some titties, and doctor was like, "No, because you're di- you're you're type two diabetic." I thought. Type two. Yeah, but that's when you can lose, right? You can shake it. Harlem Shake. They, right now? Yeah. On command? Yes. No. Play the music. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you say homegirl wanted to get titties. Yeah. And then, I swear to God, sometimes <laughs> Scotty speaks in a, a code. It is code, right? You have what to was decipher. the code? I'm with you, I think. Homegirl wants titties. Yeah. So I got a girl, and she's from the home. She's homegirl. I mean, you get there. You do get there. Once, which is... She wants her titties to breastfeed? Or no, they want them. I think she wants them, them you know, them cowboy killers. Cigarettes. Them sups. She them supples. <laughs> she wants a Marlboro. She, she wants a Marlboro. She wants a red? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, like, it's so good. Like, you, like, if we, if we hang out for, like, 30 seconds, I get back into the rhythm. Yeah, it takes a while. Like, and the thing is, like, even if you, like, you wrote out, like, a legend to, like, how to, like, <laughs> Decipher what he is saying. <laughs> he, he goes red out in court. Yeah, he switches it up on you. <laughs> like things don't mean the same thing a week from now. You know? No, they usually. He finds you know another, what's weird? It's like I'll slap you fifty. He repurposes his, uh, his sayings. Yeah, it's good though. But they're universal. It's not, not universal. <laughs> universal. Like, the cats on the tree is universal. That could mean homeboys chilling by the mailbox. A literal cats in a tree. No, one of a kind. Truly. Your words are trans. Oh, oh my God, dude. Yeah. Hey, damn. You're about trans- to cross the line. I don't think you're ready for it, son. <laughs> oh, man. I'll fight to the Rose death. Rosales, take my shirt off and shit. Yeah, I'm just saying. They switch up, they change on us. Dude, I hate switched when people up, do dude. that. <laughs> you switched up, dude. You switched up, you switched up, dude. You switched up on us. Dude, man, homie, bro. I ain't got no love for Dude, man, homie, bro. Y'all don't love us. Y'all don't love us! Well, let it be known then! This feels like a roast. You changed. No, it was kind of, it's all right. Uh, well, if you can be friends with Scott out there, I recommend it. Do it. <laughs> oh, he was a good guy. Bro, are, what of our first nights <laughs> kicking it? He was a good guy, yeah. What of our first nights kicking it? Oh, we did that show with, actually with Smitty. Yeah. On the corner of Something is Something on the East Side. Oh, yeah, where the hookers are. Yes. Oh, the Haven for Hope? <laughs> God damn, Pat just <laughs> called up so because they're down on their luck? No, because he used to host shows at Haven for Hope. Yo, do, do oh, no, Haven. I did that too. But no, no this was on the corner of a, of a, like of a, it was on the east side on the corner of she's not downtown. It's like an old boxing gym. That's what it looked like, yeah. Okay. And it was a competition. That you won. Me and Tanvir. 
Really? Yeah. And I probably got third place. It wasn't a trophy, but we all know I probably did. Oh, okay. I thought Zach did better, but whatever. So we ended up going to Oasis Bar mm-hmm. on uh, Embassy Oaks, mm-hmm. and we just start pounding them. Oh, we had free drinks. This is this is why I hate Heineken because all of the taste. But that was my first night drinking Heineken. Was it because of me? Yeah. I don't mind Heineken. I do not. That is so. I, I hate all all night long. I do you like olives? Couple. All of, no. You like olives at all? It tastes mm-hmm. so olivey at the end. I don't think so because I like Heineken. And I don't like olives. I don't it, think. it does. I see what you're saying. Like if you, especially if you have that in your mind, the like, same way that gin tastes like a Christmas tree, kind of. You know. <laughs> I don't know what Christmas, it tastes like a Christmas tree smells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have Jada Kiss to blame for that. Jada Kiss is the one that made me start drinking Heinekens. Yeah. And so now I passed it on to you. Do you ever feel weird that like you get motivated, not motivated, but inspired by like songs, like when they talk about like vodka or a certain like liquor, and you're like, well, that's my drink now. All the time, I think I every don't guy listen does to that, that kind of music. Yeah. What if you? What if you no. only smoke CBD because of the music you listen to? I'm sure. I started smoking weed because like I listened to something. It's subliminal. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sublime, Yo, dude. You just got your episode title. It's <laughs> subliminal. Dude. You, I mean, I need an S A W B liminal. <laughs> I take longer with my words because I don't know if uh, it's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Subliminal. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can switch. Oh. It, I can switch it up halfway. Yo, dude. this is gonna be the happiest episode we've ever done. <laughs> let's do. Let's get pissed off. <laughs> tell them. Tell them. Fuck. <laughs> we were talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> fucking bitches. Dude. Oh man, whatever. You know, you're off the chain. Can I, can I talk about something that you, you said to me when we were hanging out last time? Not yesterday, but the time before that. Yeah. Well, yeah. About uh, the car. No. All right. Please don't. Done. Thanks for asking. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you. I'm always going to do that. that. Was, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, that is a fucked up hint, though. Like, uh, Obviously, you knew what he was talking about. He fucked my car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I tried. Okay. Car said no. Yeah. You know what I... <laughs> you know what really? I... Two-minute drilled it, bent her over. And... That's what Kenny Power said. I was watching that last night. He goes, <laughs> I got this country wet. Now it's time to bend this bitch over and make her come. Jesus. Kenny Powders, dude. How good is how good is fucking I hate comedy. But that's <laughs> good. But that's so good. You know, he doesn't watch any comedy. He doesn't like watching comedy. Like stand up or no, comedy movies. Comedic it shows, kind movies. Of really? All of it. Why yeah. is that? If you it can... ain't drill, he don't give a fuck. I don't know. Well, kind of. I don't know. I just like like he... I can like obviously, I'm not I'm not the funniest guy in the world, uh-huh. but like I can make myself laugh. You're top the, three in this time. room. Yeah, that's thank you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> at first I was like, for real? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. No, like I, I don't know. Like it'd be like uh, kind of. I'm surprised more comedians aren't like that. No, but like maybe I don't. You never had like a bad day. Say, like, man, I just need a good laugh and I, put on like wow. Dumb and Dumber or something. Now see, like there are shit. The shit that I do like, I love. Like MacGruber. Okay. Go. What are the funniest movies I've ever seen? Like it has to be like real stupid. Whoa. Like silly. Kind I of. I bet that in the compliment. Either really silly. Well, or really saved silly. our country. <laughs> but he said he's got like thirteen purple hearts, <laughs> and he was starting tight end of the University of Texas at El Paso. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. I fucking love MacGruber. Is Real Mac- silly. Is MacGruber the best SNL movie ever? Yeah. Ladies Man. Ladies Man is good too. Really? Does Tommy Boy count? Ladies Man. No. Tommy, why didn't Tommy Boy count? Because those weren't those weren't characters from SNL, were they? Okay, I got you. I got oh, you. I see. I, what you. I just meant like SNL alumni. That no, to Tommy Boy would okay, be better I see than what that. I see but what yeah, from alum. Oh, well, Chris Farley didn't. Not have, at the Roxbury. Chris Farley didn't have any uh, SNL character movies. Did Say it again. Chris Farley didn't have any SNL no character movies. What was the one he died making? That, Almost famous, the with Western one, Matthew Perry. Oh, he finally croaked. Yeah. Damn. Sorry. Yeah, that was his uh, sidekick in the movie. Are y'all Friends fans? Can we, can no. we pause? Whatever. You want to do a, a moment of silence? Not a moment of silence, but I said, like, I think. Is Friends one that was like the one with the one that, the one who, the episodes? I don't know. I think no. that's Seinfeld. Oh, okay. My fault. Now, doesn't it make sense out of all the characters on Friends that Matthew Perry would be the first to go? 
I think after the reunion it that they made, did, it made more sense because the reunion made more noise. The way he looked made more noise than the actual reunion. I didn't see the reunion. You mean as the mean. character? No, of just, Chandler. No, uh, Bing. Uh, the real person. <laughs> Like oh, out yeah. of that group, it made sense that he yeah no he was a shoe in yeah he had he an was opioid a shoo-in. addiction early, yeah. but I'm saying like you could definitely have called that when the reunion came out. I am surprised David Schwimmer didn't get murdered yet. <laughs> really? Because <laughs> I mean, let's be, oh Rachel, <laughs> oh I wasn't a big I don't like Friends. I want my coffee. Uh-huh. I looked up the funny the 25 funniest episodes. And I, I watched, I think, four or five of them. Yeah. I, I don't get it. Season one's not bad. I'm not going to lie about that. It was something about Season a couch. One. The pivot. You got it like that? Do you know, like they said, like, you have to pivot. Yeah. Uh, pivot. Yeah. It's pivot. some white ass shit, honestly. Oh, I, mean, I was like, I, I, I don't get it at all. I don't understand this humor. It's my culture. What's, the, what's your sitcom then? No, I mean... Fucking black dynamite, <laughs> black Jesus. Uh, <laughs> did you get offended? You're like, well, then what the fuck do you like, dude? No, no. Piece of shit. Yeah, well, because he was to like. What? <laughs> no, I just don't get it. I'm you not know, talking- you don't even like comedy. And like, you're like, I don't think it's funny. I was like, I know, right, I'm not talking what's shit. What's funny? Just, like, what's. F- Bub Kiss was fucking hilarious. Bub Kiss? Yeah. The, uh, Pete Davidson, Pete that Davidson? was fucking hilarious. I mean, MacGruber shit. season one, hilarious. I didn't even know they had a show. They yeah, a it's show? on Peacock, and it's fucking amazing. His dad, Sam Elliott. That's fire. Uh, so you're I'm workaholics. Just, workaholics was funny. Like that's, that's fucking good. hilarious. King of the Hill. Yeah. Beavis and Butt. Still, I mean, maybe that's some nostalgia shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the British Office. So you don't. I, wa- I love the fuck out of the Office. The British Office. Not that I, one. I like the British one. I like Me the too. Oh, yeah. nice. too busy yeah. being red, white, and blue. What, you I color think, you what I like, what I like about the British, is that they know when to let shit go. They never do multiple. Se- if they do, they they do two seasons, three tops. Oh yeah, yeah that's shameless. Pushing. And then they'll just call it out. Shameless. Yeah. I haven't it's, seen the original. Shameless. It's like two or three seasons. Yeah. And we stretched it out for like eleven. Yeah. It it doesn't have to go on that long. I like stuff to have like a, a closure. Does it have a purpose for? I, I've never gotten down. I never, I never saw the office, the real one. Um, Thank you for calling it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it end with closure on everybody and everything, or is it like a cliffhanger type shit? It's a, yeah, it's a cliffhanger, but like we've seen enough. Yeah, like we've they saw, don't. That's die. like the gist of it. Yeah, we've, yeah. we've, yeah. You know what's a good uh, finale? It's not a comedy. Uh. But greatest finale ever. Ooh. Six feet under. I uh, never saw it. You never saw it? No, I never. That saw was it. an HBO I, I show. I saw a couple, couple episodes of it. They were like a, a mortuary, right? Yeah. But it shows, spoiler alert, it shows how everybody dies. Oh, it, everybody, I, everybody goes. I mean, not like in one, in one fell swoop, but like it'll say like 2060, like so-and-so heart attack, somebody gets robbed, somebody car accident. It what, shows how each one of the characters I, dies. I, I, I That's don't, cool. That's I don't know great. anything about it. So what's the show about? It's a family that uh, they own and live in a uh, funeral home. Oh wow! And it starts off the the father who owns it dies, uh-huh. so everybody has to come. The older son who left the business, hippie shit, comes back, has to help run the business. He gets sick. Oh, it's all this. It's, it's a good show. It's fucked up. It's a lot of fucked up. Oh, like really? Like a character, because since they work in a funeral home, it starts off with somebody dying who's going to be a customer in their funeral home. So every every episode starts off with a death. Oh wow! It's, and then how they. Get to the funeral? Yeah. And how wow. they deal with their family and the come, come up with the family problems, their own problems, sex, love, drugs, all that shit. No shit. Yeah. That sounds deep. But the finale, I think it was like eight seasons, but the finale of it, like there's no better, like the worst one was Seinfeld, how it just ended with them in jail. Yeah. The yeah. best one is like it showed how everybody dies. Especially because it's about <laughs> death. And it's about death. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, that's fucking perfect. And they break that's down beautiful. when they die. Yeah, and how did they, the last one that like you liked live longest? I don't know. I don't like. Know. I don't remember the order. Whoever you yeah. fuck with, oh, but it shows it like hella in the future, like like twenty sixty. Yeah, it'll go down in, in the future. Yeah. Like they'll yeah. show them age and stuff, and like oh you, shit, and like you you'll see them at a funeral, and so you, they show the back of the heads, and like oh no, whose funeral is it? Like that suspense thing, like whose funeral is it? And then they show like oh she's still alive, and then the next thing like, <laughs> like oh like, wow, <laughs> I have a confession. That's bro. deep. 
like I've never seen the last episode of The Sopranos. I've never seen the last episode of The Wire. I've never seen The Wire at all. I've tried. I tried uh, season one. It's so slow. I've watched every all right, episode so like, a thousand times. The great, the greatness of it I've starts never at three. The final one. Uh, the final Sopranos. Or or any show that I love, I can't watch the final episode. Sopranos really? finale, basura. It did piss me off because I saw it live and I thought yeah. like everybody, the whole world thought like the fucking Something TV, the TV fucked TV up fucked up because it just went to black for <laughs> like for way that. too long. And that was it. And then the credits. Dog shit ending. I still don't. I don't know how I, it ends. I can't end it. All right, but with the with the wire. Uh, season two is good. That's when they're doing the boat. Stevedores. Yes. Three is when it starts getting black as fuck. And that's when it starts getting really good. I thought it was black from the beginning. No, this is Baltimore. Yeah. The second season, though, it's like the side story. Yeah. It's about, like, where, where are they from? The Stevedores? Yeah. Or are you talking about the Greek? No, the Greek stays in throughout every season. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, all, it's all Baltimore. No, I'm saying, where were the immigrants from that were Greek. in the second season? Greek? Oh, everyone was great. Oh, All right. no. They were like Czechoslovakia Chech- or something. So it's that. And then as it starts getting three is <laughs> when it attempt, starts like attempt. all about the cops that are trying to catch the dealers and the dealers trying to evade while still having beat. The mayor, race. Everything. She. Yeah. So The good, fourth dude. one is the kids. Like some of their kids are now ninth grade. How many seasons is that? The Five. 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 Yep. That's not too bad. No. And it's but, doable. There, it's hour. Sensible. It's hour, hour. Some might be hour 30. But yeah, the first, I, I did three episodes. The first season, I was just like, it's just not, it didn't grasp me. I guess I don't know. Oh, man. It I think it's, when it gets I think hot, because dude. it's been built up so much. And so when I started That's watching true. it and it doesn't grab me like it does everybody else, I'm just like, this is what they were talking about? That's what fucked me up with like Game that, of Thrones, I bro. For sure, dog. Fuck I wouldn't Game even fuck Thrones. with Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm like, all right, this is, I don't even care now. We're all saying fuck Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah. hell yeah. Can we say it on the count of three? Yeah. Sorry, no, it's your pocket. Three. No. Fuck Game yeah. of Thrones. <laughs> Sound of three. <laughs> three? Yeah, I wanted it to be wild. All right. One, two, three. Fuck, Fuck Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. Thank you. I haven't even tried. Did you, did you even attempt it? I the tried, other one. I tried hard. The no, other one. No. I tried twice. And I've never gotten down with Dexter. Yeah. I tried that too. I, Dexter was pretty good, I think. I mean, I didn't watch all of them. But the thing with Game of Thrones, like everybody was like, oh, well, you don't like tits? I was like, yeah, but I could see tits <sighs> anywhere. I could see better ones than what you can promise me. Yeah. <laughs> you try Google. But it's so dude. funny how like that was everybody's go-to. Like, what? They show tits and people fuck all the time. I was like, all right. I watch people fuck all the time. <laughs> yeah, dude. How American is that? It's like, you don't like that? What are you, gay? <laughs> yeah. You don't like incest it. and dragons? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good part. <laughs> and fucking dwarfs that are the Michael Jordan of witticism all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, Why is everybody dude. so goddamn slick in that show? <laughs> well, if, you don't, if, if that's not a dome, then I'm not a dwarf. Uh, <laughs> shut the fuck Fuck up talking to me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry get it out. Get it out. Dude, get I'm out. sorry for cursing, but like, it's a fucking, I hate how well it's written. We get it. You, It's like George Carlin stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. wrote it down. Thank you for it. Yeah. But, I mean, what's better, George Carlin or a Vine video? Some guy falling down or some shit. Vine, I mean, yeah. is, is this still a site? Vine shit. Well, no, Vine not no. They took it away from us. My, but a Pornhub genuine just ripped my. Uh, <laughs> my my IG feed is just uh, power slaps. <laughs> See what I'm saying? And kids getting hurt. That's the that's best. Like, that's what I am entertained by. And puppies every now and then. You know, America's you got you got some puppies. Bro, I've been seeing seen a pet fucked up once. Oh yeah, sh- I mean, it's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> he does with the, and I'm not. We can cut this out. The special needs people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, let it out, y'all. Yeah. yeah. I'll let it be known. I don't go for that humor. No. Do you really? I don't go. I abolished <laughs> it. That humor. But I, did you laugh when I hit send? Like. I feel, comment, I feel more dirty about that stuff than the porn that I watch on my phone. <laughs> I was like, I can't, I can't partake in this. <laughs> there was a girl. She walked to school with a shirt on. It had a basketball hoop on it, and it's an active shooter. <laughs> 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 
You can't let them dress themselves. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get involved, parents out there. You gotta proofread their shirt. <laughs> their shirt. Yeah. Just because they made a shirt doesn't mean they can wear it to school. <laughs> What's even more fucked up is like the parents that let their kids dress like that. Like that. Remember that one that meme with the fat kid says, "I fuck fat chicks" or whatever. Like, <laughs> like yeah. I fuck on the first date. I fuck on the first date. That's yeah, what yeah. it was. Yeah. Like, You're like, buddy, you have no choice. You're going to fuck fat chicks of anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that, that was better. I mean, fuck up the first date. Like, a parent shouldn't let their kids do that. Like, that's that should be like a CPS case for sure. A thousand. Really? Yeah. A borderline, they should at least make a phone call. Yeah. But the kid watching like what's going on over there. Exactly. The kid doesn't, like, the parent is making a, making a mockery out of this guy, out of the kid. The kid's just there oh. like... Oh, well, I don't think I it's feel like he because, snuck the shirt off. Is it because nah, the kid's I don't fat? think so. I I think the kid looks happy because it's the first time his dad's taking a picture of him. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Patty, see, you just you know what I mean. You're so interested in the facts. Did well, yeah. You a, a picture truly does say a thousand <laughs> words in your case. You go, oh look, he's just you know they're in Youngstown, Ohio. His dad, his dad probably dad said hi <laughs> today. Yeah, he said hey. Let's go get a Christmas tree. Me and you. Yeah. Hey, Dad's breath smelled like coffee. Hey, and- yeah. Hey, boy, let me take a picture of you. Like, what? Dad wants to take you a picture of you? He breathes on the back of my neck. Here, put this shirt on. That, that's why he looks so happy. He doesn't know what's on the shirt. He's just like, my he dad. He look like he knew he was old enough to read. You're saying the kid can't read? I'm saying that kid can't read. Uh- also, I will say diabetes can lead to many uh, things like eye Fucks troubles. Fucks up your well. eyes, yeah. So maybe not. Yeah. And that's a warning sign to yeah. you. Wait, Di- what is it? Diabetes turned me dyslexic. Did you know it could do that? If, for is real? that real? I don't know. And what kind of, what are you blaming it on? Uh, laziness. <laughs> laziness. I don't know if I was, uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. I think it's the phones. I think the phones, because I have, can make you dyslexic, because you're reading shit so fast, or you're seeing things so fast, you're not really reading it. Yeah. And then when you read something that's still, it moves on its own. Because your the words and the like, letters oh, move oh, on oh, their oh, own. Yeah, oh. yeah, because the autocorrect, right? Yeah. So then T nine, remember that? It could fuck. Yeah, T nine. You know that shit. That was that. That shit was not very book. <laughs> it was not very book. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. That's that a is T9 the blackest laugh. That's a T9 joke for you fuckers out there. I'm cursing up a goddamning storm in this bitch. You just Jesus crushed at the Apollo Christ, right there. Dude. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're you gotta you gotta pay attention. You gotta be more cycle, dude. What the duck? That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Back, baby. Be more cycle. Jesus. Uh, pause. That was uh, awake. I don't know. Remember, awake. <laughs> awake, they would always say cycle. Woo. Jesus, man. So, <laughs> so you're you're coming back? Is this your your come back to the stage? Is that is that in the out? plan? I'm bike, baby. Yeah, I'm coming dude. bike. I'm very excited about it. I'm telling myself to be very excited. Oh, remember like the fucking juiciness you used to get? Like I know you get it all the time. Yeah. Of like your confidence and and your first time telling the joke does good. Oh, that's do the, you remember that? Like that's the, the first time you try it. It's like. Damn, that fucking kind of worked. Yeah. The only time I like that, that good. feeling I love. That's like the best feeling to me. Yeah. yeah. My my uh, advice would be lower your expectations. What you thought of the scene and the audience and the whatever before. Yeah. Lower it. Because really? it, it, it does get good when it gets good, but there's a lot of stuff where you're just like, well, I just need to say this out loud just to practice it for when it does matter. Yeah. In front of a good audience and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, here's my thing. My philosophy now is like, well, I know I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah, I'm going out there to be a silly goddamn goose. Yeah, yeah. And like, and you know, it's we need more silly gooses, geeses. Like, there's this yeah. thing now where like people fuck. God, people seem like they're doing a uh, a speech now, like a oh, like a yeah. wedding speech. That's that's what open oh, mics God. have turned into. Like, I'm gonna say some stuff. And it's gonna be funny at some times, but they look like they're delivering a like wedding speech. Yes, a eulogy sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the bomb that just exploded. It looks and feels of stand up, but isn't actually yeah. funny. That's been a problem for a long time. A lot of monologue. Well, it's just it's, it's more. It's more now. A lot of monologue writers. Uh, uh, that like you know like don't wait for the laugh. They just assume it. 
Oh. Ah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's brutal. You can uh, always feel. And they put the mic like this. They go. <laughs> yeah, they with the smile. The they, like, you yeah. they, they, they make that lick. Yeah. Or are they trying? Yeah. Is anybody, if you ever drop the mic like this, like a little, four inches or more, yeah. you should be shot to death on stage. I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, dude. Ritually. Um, you know, Patty runs Luchador on Wednesday. I love Luchador. Luchador's a spot. Yo. Man. Yeah. The Ruff crowd, Roosevelt? Yeah, yeah. The crowd fuck is fucking ridiculous. It's a wild room, dude. No, 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 no. Yeah, it can, He's yeah. got it down. That's great. Bro, there's all right, the bars at the front, or at the, right when you walk in, and yeah. the stage is at the back. Yeah. Pat will go up and drop like two minutes, and they're loud as fuck. And then you'll start seeing him shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. And then the only time you hear him get loud is something happens on the game. But yeah, not that's, for the that's the rough thing. Is that they had they had last one we had the game seven, uh, was it game seven? No, Texas? it was it was the the World Series. It was the World Series. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, but they they turned the volume off. They just had the the screen going, which is good. But now we got to go up against the Spurs. The Spurs season we got Spurs yeah. on Wednesday. Which night of the week? Oh, it's Wednesday, Wednesday. though. It's not it's yeah, like Thursday it's, or Monday. But but the no crowd the, the crowd gets down. Like yeah. when they when they sit where you're supposed to sit, not at the bar. Yeah, bro, they're a hundred percent attentive. Like they shut the fuck up and look at you. Yeah, and there's That's some good great. comics. There's some good good comics coming out and trying some stuff and working on the crowd and stuff. I've had it's some good. great sets in that room, bro. Yeah. Can we talk about last Wednesday? What, what we happened? saw? What happened? <laughs> Old girl? No. Okay. We could. That's off camera thing. Uh, Damn, dude! No, you're not you. getting to talk about anything. That's all good. You but can't fuck my car. I ain't tri- <laughs> <laughs> I'm not tripping. Yeah, that's all good. If you know, you know. Yeah. If well, just because, like, yeah, there. I don't want to just like. Uh, I'm not shitting on her. Yeah, I just I want her to come back out wearing the same thing. Fair enough. So if we shit on it, bro. Well, now we said too much. <laughs> yeah, not just say it, no. bro. No, no. All right, so there was she. The homegirl brought heads. Nine, ten, twelve, ten maybe twelve at least, and they're all sitting. And she, like, Pat keeps putting her last, so she's smart. So get man. the crowd, which yes. is no harm, no foul. And I told her that too, because she's like, "Oh, can you put me late because I'm inviting people? They might come a little bit later." I was like, "I'll just put you at the end." Yeah, if and I was fine. fucking brilliant. Your headline, you. yeah. lady, bro. And usually, like, you think the crowd's gonna be fucking? I don't care. I'm just, I'm just here for her. Yeah. They, they shut the fuck up. They laughed at everything. They were uh, dope as fuck. They were engaged with yeah. it. Yeah. There was a girl. Did you see the girl in blue? Mm-mm. I was like, yo, this bitch is bad. I was like, I get an advantage if I do stand up and I crush. Mm. So I was like, all right, do the hits. You know, blah blah blah. Maybe work a new joke or two in. Yeah. How was my set? Good. Thank you. She laughed at zero of it. The table laughed, but she was like. Oh, and that's oh, all you focus dude. on, dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. Never shoot, never like pick your shot. Never call it your shot. Like, oh, I'm going to make that person laugh. Just like, no, I was like, group. I got a chance of knocking her down. If she laughs if, at if I Yeah, if I crack her. So I know I can crack her. So you fucked up already. Like, yeah. You're damn. Like, you you're like, oh, this. I'm oh, sorry. You're like, this is why I left the house tonight. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm no, I didn't, I didn't put that expert. I mean, that's a lot. That's, I mean, that's kind of what you did, though. You're like, this, I, this has to happen. No, it wasn't a, it wasn't a gun to the head. But uh, homegirl came out in a uh, thong, and it was cold. It was a cold Wednesday. Yeah, last Wednesday was really cold. <laughs> yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, it was cold. Start as fuck. <laughs> uh, a poem. <laughs> it was a cold night <laughs> <laughs> on the south of South Town. Uh, <laughs> not, uh, but Roosevelt, no, like, to be exact. And what's fucked up is like I, because I, she approached, she signed up, and she's just talking to me and asking questions and stuff. I did not notice until she walked away that she, her thing was just see through. Respect you were using by talking to her eyes. Yeah, I, she was a person, and then I saw what she, what she was wearing. I was like, "Well, I know where I'm looking now." But like, <laughs> thong. At first. But I saw Pat I went like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, like just uh, her bra and the thong underwear and like a, what do you what do you call that negligee? Is that what that yeah. thing is yeah. called? See-through. But it went all the way to the legs. But all it was the way to the hundred percent see through. Yeah, and. Uh, Brought the crowd. She, no shame. Like I don't even know if that was her family, coworkers, her dude. Was her dude there. showed up. Yeah, because they kissed. Yeah, he was fucking. Buff. Yeah, he was. <laughs> no, like on the lips, and he like he, he was hugging her more affectionately. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you're like, no, that's her boyfriend. They kissed. No, yo, yo, on the lips. Yo, they but they were holding hands stuff. like this. Yeah, but he was jacked. Yeah. Was she? Was she? And hot it was or cold. What? It was cold. He was. He was wearing a fucking beater. 
Yeah, tank top, whatever. Uh, gym shorts, all this stuff. Sexy they couple. They run cold, this family. Uh, but, you know, no, no, she was she was a good looking. Uh, a little bit older than I uh, assumed she was. Or like. Oh. Yeah, she says she's like 43. <laughs> And I was trying to like, be cool. I was like, oh, you don't have any kids, do you? And she's like, no, I have three of them. I was like, were they adopted? Because like, you look put together, <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, slick, dude. <laughs> you she's be like Patty Singles. <laughs> no, nah, so that one's not. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, yeah, she goes up. I don't even know what she's doing. The crowd's like kind of digging and stuff. And then like I'm about to go up. I give her the light. And then she starts talking about like getting out of the shower. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, run it. <laughs> And so I go up back up there. I was like, stop talking about being in the shower. You know, I got to work up here. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I'm working here. You know, I got a boner now. <laughs> That's a stand. It's called stand up comedy, not sit like <laughs> this comedy. Yeah. Fuck. Not hydrina. So you never yeah. know what you're going to see on Wednesday night at uh, Luchador Bar on the south side. Bro, but that bitch is fun as fuck. We're you guaranteeing have to, you, kids. You, you, that's, a, that's a mandatory room. I will go there. You don't have to mandate it. I love it. Yeah, man. Uh, I so I, I know I know you're just back, but uh, anything you want to plug? Did you uh, did you ever like pause your page or anything, or did, were you still doing like comedy? Not stuff? really, not really. I could. did you get rid of social media? No, I just stopped using it. I just I mean I, I've just been so focused, bro. I've just been so busy. Yeah. That's one of the things. Like when you notice people are like absent on social media, one of two scenarios, right? They could either be doing really well. Or really bad. Or they could be doing really poorly. Yeah. And my absence was me doing well. I was doing a bunch of art, actually. I was painting a bunch. Good for you. Good for you, man. Yeah. Post them. Um, uh, yeah. I need want, to. Anything you want to plug? Anything you got to... Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm going to post my art because of this. Go oh, to yeah, Zaxo yeah. Raven on Instagram and everywhere, and I'm going to post my art on there. I posted a couple, but I'm going to post them. Yo, cop it. Yeah. You can't cop it. It probably is very expensive. Oh, you got the prices on them? Yeah. yeah. Don't be broke. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm poor, dude. It's not like... 100000 No. the My most expensive one a is... A nickel? The first good one. <laughs> a nickel. Yeah. Like, damn, that's good. That's the ultimate callback. $900 is the most expensive one. Really? Damn. But that's my first good one. Yeah. And I set the price because I'm like, that's how much it would cost to buy it from me because mm. I want to keep it. Mm. But everything oh, else shit. is like... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything so else the is price is set so they don't buy it. So you could keep it for yourself. I th- I do think that one's worth it. It's literally called the first good one. Ah. But then everything else like a hundred dollars. So, fuck yeah. Yeah, man. For your time, your effort, the materials. Yeah. All this stuff. And I love you guys. Hell yeah, man. Thanks for coming back, too, doggy. Dude. It was a good hang. It was a good hang for sure. Uh, no- November sixteenth. November sixteenth, upstage coming live. Bought it, bought, bought it, one my balls them. Two days before your birthday. Yeah, look at that. How how oh. would you like a guest spot? I love one. Also, I forgot to plug. I plug August twenty eighth. August at August? LOL. Oh, did you already have your show? Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> I'm sorry. About? This show I was supposed to feature on. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Plugged, oh, sorry. He plugged this fucking Shit. four months ago show. <laughs> yeah. If you got a time machine, go back to July, uh-huh. August. No, it was in July. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Way to bring up your birthday. A Drake song. Yeah, it is. Oh well, oh, you like Drake? You big fan? I do of like Drake. Yeah, not because of that. I thought you didn't like white, white rappers. Huh? Oh, I only <laughs> half like clock. Drake <laughs> when he's not in his emotions. <laughs> <laughs> it's a light skin move. It's a light skin move. Oh, November sixteenth, upstage comedy lounge, do the man homie bro comedy show. We got Scott. I'm doing time. Zach's doing time. Celia. Celia. Georgie. George Rosales. It's going to be a hell of a night, man. Come out. Get tickets. BibleCoreCore.com. And uh, I'll see you next time.